Hoity Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Black Butler chapter 149. So last chapter we saw what happened um, when Soma left the Phantom Hive Manor and um, it was really, really heartbreaking. Um, and it, it was touching in some ways as well because first off we saw him um, helping this little boy and his mom and baby out, but then these thugs tried to beat, uh, you know, the kid up and after, well, they beat the kid up, robbed him of the necklace that Soma gave him and uh, we're going and we're asking Soma for shit and Soma was like fuck you I ain't helping you motherfuckers and uh, then they push the Agni button by taking out Agni's remains so I really hope Soma's not leaving please don't leave Soma anyway it looks like we're starting off this chapter with Othello um, you know one of the Reapers who we haven't seen in forever and um, hopefully we'll get some questions answered in regards to like why the Reapers didn't take action at the Phantom Hive Manor since remember they're after um oh my god under after Undertaker so yeah um the other thing that I still believe and I said this from the very beginning that the the Reapers are going to ally with um with Sebastian I'm calling that shit but anyway let's get to this chapter and see what happens next the past after death in this chapter is titled that butler mobilizing Reapers ordering the staples of English cuisine. Uh, bartender, could I get two ales and a kidney pie? Oh, also an order of fish and chips, if you would please. Othello, um, fuck, I'm butchering Othello's name right now. I'm sorry. Othello, hmm? Yay! Oh, grub, what's wrong? Did you want a whole kidney pie to yourself? Um, no, I don't eat that much. Anyway, that's not the point. Um... Why are we here ordering ale from a pub and also your lab coat makes you look suspicious? Didn't the management division tell you to blend in during the mission? If that's the case, I would, could say the same about your blaringly red coat, you know. Ooh, Othello makes a good point. Thanks for waiting. Thank you. Anyway, did you come here just to talk about how you um, don't want to sit and drink with me? This looks like a fine place to sit. Or rather... Do you want to know why we fled the Phantom Hive Manor? Yes, 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 yes. Othello, we need to know this. We need to know this. Um, the latter, of course. It was the perfect chance to capture that slippery undertaker. Oh no, certainly not. There were far too many humans at the scene. Well, some of those humans that, uh, that were at the scene are not really human. But anyway, if you, the demon, and uh, he were to do battle in earnest, there's no doubt others would uh, get hurt in the crossfire. And um, you certainly wouldn't be able to get off with just a written apology and disciplinary action, no dearie. Furthermore, you don't really think you can beat him one-on-one, -on -one, do you, Grell? Ooh, think about it. Oh, that's true. I, I don't know. We don't know if Grell could uh, be Undertaker one-on-one. -on -one. I doubt it. I honestly doubt it. Lynch. You know something, don't you? Ooh, yes. Yes, tell us, Othello, tell us. When the superior, or uh, he says Okami, but the kanji is uh, different than the one for God. It, it's the kanji that could um, that can be used for superior, elder, emperor, sovereign, and not landlady. That's different. So the translator um, went with superior. It's also uh, the kanji for up or uh, you. Um, when the superior told me to go to the human world and check things out, I had a hunch that he was involved. So I had left, so I had left the thought in the back of my head, but the moment I saw him, I knew I was spot on. After Life uh, Citizen 136649 of the Grim Reaper Dispatch, approximately 70 years ago, he plotted an escape plan to flee the organization, during which he also um, managed to destroy a fair amount of headquarters. He's a legendary wanted man. You know what? I am not surprised by this. This is, I'm not surprised that Undertaker did this. But, like, dude, <laughs> we had, I had a feeling, and I think we all did, that Undertaker, like, once we found out, like, he used to be a Reaper in the first place. Yeah, we knew he, because he was on the run, but we didn't, uh, but for 70 years? Holy shit. That is insane. Um, Afterlife Citizen number 136649? Yeah, you know our registration number that we get assigned by the organization once we become a Grim Reaper? It's also called an Afterlife Citizen number, but almost all of us just go by the names we had when we were alive. However, this salt chap went by his registration number the whole time, even when he was at headquarters. It's too long to say, so I just call him Whitey because of his hair and wait. Wait, 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 what? There's so much I want to comment on, but I can barely keep up. 
Shkreli are stealing the words right out of my mouth. First of all, you knew the Undertaker? You were friends? Hmm? Oh, were you not a Reaper yet back 70 years ago? Wait a minute, what? Othello knew? Othello knew him? Ooh. Whitey and I came in um, at around the same time period. Ooh. Me on the forensics division and him on the retrieval. Unlike me who doesn't take anything seriously, he was a start student. He kept his entirely, his warnings, he kept his list entirely private, never let emotions impact his work, and collected the souls of the dead on time, every time. He was a, a paragon of a grim reaper, but I have been told that a crazy idea like raising the dead is something you'd expect, uh, expect from me rather than him. Well, duh, because you work in forensics. You're the last person I want to hear that from, so maybe I'd actually get along um, a lot better with him as he is now compared to back then. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the story. That's the reason why I was dispatched all the way out here to come clean up after my colleague's mess. It's quite a, um, it's a story you hear quite often. <laughs> and so, what do we do now? Surely we can't just let him continue to create moving corpses just because he's strong, right? Nope. And to defeat Whitey and his crew, we're going to need to strike first. Please, Alliance, say Alliance, say Alliance, say it, please, Othello, please say that we're going to align, you're going to align with Sebastian. Judging from the looks of the blood typing workshop at uh, Spear Music Hall and the uh, blood transfusion facility at Bath, I'd say his moving corpses are far from finished. What do you mean? They're not at the uh, level where they can maintain bodily functions with just one blood transfusion. So that means someone has to keep up with their maintenance? And how do you know that? Because if the circulatory system were prop properly functioning, they wouldn't have had to work so hard to obtain blood back then. I think that's why they have to transfuse blood from other humans and use every trick in the book to keep them operating. I analyzed that hair I plucked from the younger twin, and of all types, uh, seal phantom hive's blood, is, uh, blood type is the rarest type in England. To make matters worse, the human world still has no idea of the concept of blood type, so they really had to rack their brains to figure out how to collect all that blood. Thus, they resorted to any means possible. Ugh, geek speak. I haven't the faintest clue of what you're saying. In simpler terms, what's happening? In other words, if you cut off their supply of blood, the corpse will return to being nothing more than a corpse. But then, if the Undertaker improves his methods and removes that defect from the equation, then he will probably be no different from those of the living. Oh my god, hold on. We gotta talk about this top panel on page 13. That is gorgeous. I love this art with the life and the death. And um, I, especially for this line, then he will probably be no different from those of the living, talking about, you know, the seal's brother. Or the real seal, excuse me. Uh, but I really love the artwork here. It's just so perfect. The symbolism is beautiful with the life and the death. The life with the um, seal, with the, um, with the live twin and the, the death. And uh, for the dead twin, oh, it's so, oh, it's so eerie and beautiful. I love it. And, oh, and look at the rest of this page, too. And if that happens, the foundation of the en entire definition of souls in this world, uh, governed by the superior, will, uh, will utterly collapse. Oh, my God. Let's talk about just, the, I should, uh, this is the whole page. I'm sorry. Correct. I'm correcting my wording here. This page, page 13, is just beautiful to see, like, life and death on the scale. And, um... And, and then, like when, you know, Othello says, and if that happens, the foundation of the entire definition of souls in this world governed by the superior will uh, utterly collapse. Look at the disintegration at the bottom, and you have the gears, too, at the um, right there as well. This is so brilliant, artistically. This is beautiful. I actually, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I would love to have that, like, on a shirt or a poster. Just, like, just at least the top part of this page. Because it, it's just so exquisite. But I'm very curious what you guys think. I really love this page. I'm sorry. Simply put, uh, so, is this a, uh, um... Warning. Simply put, so is this much uh, bigger? So this is um wow my warnings right now. So is this a much bigger problem than I thought it was? It might be. What's important is that we found the bug early and can correct it before it causes the system to crash. And now that we've replenished our glucose levels for our brains, as soon as we leave the pub, we'll send out a request for re reinforcements from uh, the personnel division straight away. I highly doubt we can count on them, seeing as they were so short staffed that they had uh, so, so short staffed that they had to send out you. Oh, well, let me reread this. I highly doubt we uh, can count on them, seeing as um, they were so short-staffed that they had to send um, out you from forensics. <laughs> Very true. Oh, there goes the bird. 
Is it, and I think it's a dove too. If I'm not, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Ooh, ooh. So now we're at Bandai Manor, and we and Seal sees it, and oh, look at that. Look at on that bottom left panel of page 16. You see the, the blurriness going on because of the lack of blood. Earl. Earl collapsed, of course. We've reached your limit for today. Um, Undertaker. Oh, Bullocks, how vexing. All I want is to rush to my brother's side, and yet my body won't do as I say. Oh, look at the veins. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, my God. Um... Was this how my brother felt as he looked out? Oh, was this, ah, mornings. Was this how my brother felt as he looked out the window? I'm not so sure about that after all. You seem to be quite happy right now in preparation for the next game, sleep for a while. Wow, so this chapter was really good because we found out, well, we, we had an idea of what Undertaker was planning uh, from the get-go with, you know, or we, on the surface, I should say. On the surface, we knew what Undertaker was doing. Um, but this right here, what Othello said about him, what he was trying to do 70 years ago to basically destroy the Reaper system and shit. Oh my god, like, that makes so much sense. And he's basically, what he's doing is he's rebelling against the system. That's what he's doing. And I'm very curious, like, how he got that way. Because as Othello says, or he said in this chapter, it's like, it's kind of weird that someone that was from you know retrieval uh started feeling this way compared to like someone like me in forensics so something i had to have happened to undertaker to really want to do this i'm very curious what it is though oh my god but seriously we need and especially since we got that short staff little comment there i'm telling you we're gonna uh, align with the sabbat the the reapers are gonna have to align with sebastian fuck i would like to see like the reapers and the devils come together like as a whole and just go but i'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter i thought this chapter was amazing i love the I, I think the art this month was just beautiful to boot and i really am i'm really am digging undertaker's backstory for the most part um very curious what you guys think uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Games Inc. if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so um, I could keep bringing you uh, Black Butler content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdy Games, I will be seeing you later.